Why do you read so much? Look at me and tell me what you see. You're Tyrion Lannister, the Queen's brother. My greatest accomplishment. What you see is a dwarf. If I had been born a peasant, they might have left me out in the woods to die. Alas, I was born a Lannister of Casterly Rock. Things are expected of me. Let me give you some advice, bastard. Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not wear it like armor. It can never be used to hedge. If you see my brother Brun, tell him we're missing. Why do you want to help him? I have a tender spot in my heart for cripples, bastards, and broken things. This man came into my house as a guest and there conspired to murder my son. I had nothing to do with the attempt on your son's life. The dagger found What sort of imbecile arms an assassin with his own blade? Lannister always pays his debt. I am Tyrion, son of Tywin, of Clan Lannister. How would you like to die, Tyrion, son of Tywin? In my own bed, at the age of 80? With a belly full of wine and a girl's mouth around my cock? No one threatens his grace in the presence of the King's guard. And if the day ever comes when you're tempted to sell me out, remember this. Whatever their price, I'll beat it. I'm not threatening the King, sir. I am educating my nephew. Bronn, the next time Sir Merwin speaks, kill him. That was a threat. See the difference? <laughs> Our Lord, he used to be married. My name is Taisha. Tell me, have you married this one yet? No? And by morning, I was deep enough in love to ask for her hand. A few lies, a few gold coins, one drunken septum, and there you have it, man and wife. Good. Father will be so pleased. A fortnight anywhere until the septum sobered up and told my father. First, my father had Jamie tell me the truth. The girl was a whore, you see. Jamie had arranged the whole thing. Father's orders. After my brother confessed, my father brought in my wife and gave her to his guards. He paid her well. Silver for each man. How many whores command that kind of price? He brought me into the barracks and made me watch. By the end, she had so much silver that the coins were slipping through her fingers and rolling onto the floor. You're funny. <laughs> Little brother. You've always been funny. But the biggest disappointment, you. But none of your jokes will ever match the first one, will they? Why? Why? You asked that. You remember. The whole way from dawn, all anyone talked about was the monster that had been born to Tywin Lannister. You who killed your mother to come into the world. Back when you ripped my mother open on your way out of her and she bled to death. Then she and your brother took us to your nursery and she unveiled a freak. A spiteful little creature, full of envy, lust, and low cunning. That's not a monster, little Cersei. That's just a baby. She was my mother too. How they gone? And she said he killed my mother. I wish to confess. For the sake of you. Men's laws give you the right to bear my name and display my color, since I cannot prove that you are not mine. Yes, father, I'm guilty. There's a brave men knocking at our door. I saved you. Let's go kill them. I saved the city. All your worthless lives. You admit you poisoned the king? No. Of that I'm innocent. I'm guilty of a far more monstrous crime. Why not anyone by me? You're my son. All dwarves are bastards in their father's eyes. I'm guilty of being a dwarf. You're not on trial for being a dwarf. Oh, yes I am. I've been on trial for that my entire life. I wish I was the monster you think I am. You're really asking if I killed your son? You're really asking if I'd kill my brother? The day that you were born, I wanted to carry you into the sea and let the waves wash you away. You knew I didn't poison Joffrey, but you sentenced me all the same. I am yours, and you are mine. Ah! Ah! You 
afraid of a dead horse. You're no son of mine. I am your son. I have always been your son. When I was a child, an uncle asked what gift I wanted for my name day. I begged him for one of you. It wouldn't even have to be a big dragon, I told him. It could be little, like me. I will never sit on the Iron Throne. No, you won't. But you could help another climb those steps and take that seat. You believe in anything? In something greater than ourselves, I mean. The gods. Destiny. You believe there's a plan for this world? You have a choice, my friend. You can stay here at Illyrio's palace and drink yourself to death. Or you can ride with me to Marine, meet Daenerys Targaryen and decide if the world is worth fighting for. For what it's worth, I've been a cynic for as long as I can remember. Neither did I. I was a cynic, just like you. And then I saw a girl step into a great fire with three stone eggs. When the fire burned out, I thought I'd find her blackened bones. Instead, I saw her. Daenerys. I am the gift. It's a pleasure to meet you, Your Grace. My name is Tyrion Lannister. Everyone's always asking me to believe in things. Family, gods, kings, myself. It was often tempting until I saw where belief got people. So I said no thank you to belief. And yet, here I am. Tyrion Lannister is one of the few people alive who can make this country a better place. He... Tell your people what happened here. Tell them you live by the grace of Her Majesty. I believe in you. Remind them what happened when Daenerys Stormborn and her dragons came to Marine. Tyrion Lannister. I name you Hand of the Queen. Bastard of Winterfell. Dwarf of Casterly Rock. She protects people from monsters, just as you do. That's why she came here. Cersei thinks the army of the dead is nothing but a story, made up by wet nurses to frighten children. What if we prove her wrong? If you die, we're all lost. Everyone, everything. John Snow's in love with me. Oh, my mistake. I suppose he stares at me longingly hopeful for a successful military alliance. You once told me you knew what your father was. Did you know his plans for King's Landing when the Lannister armies were at his gates? I offer you a choice. Bend the knee and join me. Together, we will leave the world a better place than we found it. Or refuse. And die. Well, he told my brother and Jamie told me. He had caches of wildfire, hidden under the Red Keep. The Guild Halls, the Scepter Baylor, all the major thoroughfares. What else could she do? Your Grace. Not burn him alive alongside his son. How do we ensure your vision endures? After you break the wheel, how do we make sure it stays broken? I have three large dragons. I'm going to fly them to the Red Keep. We've discussed this. My enemies are in the Red Keep. Daenerys is not her father. I was a fool. Not for the first time. You need to find a way to make her listen. And you have been known to lose your temper from time to time, as all great leaders do. When have I lost my temper? Burning the Talis, for instance. That was not impulsive. That was necessary. Your brother was stopped trying to get past our line. Farewell, little brother. Next time you fail me. You were the only one. Be the last time you fail me. We didn't treat me like a monster. Cersei's followers will abandon her if they know the war is lost. Give them that chance. If the city surrenders, they will ring the bells and raise the gates. Please, if you hear them ringing the bells, call off the attack. When she married the slavers of Astapor, sure no one but the slavers complained. After all, they were evil men. I freed my brother. You slaughtered a city. When she crucified hundreds of Marinese nobles, who could argue they were evil men? 
Dothraki cowls she burned alive. They would have done worse to her. Everywhere she goes, evil men die, and we cheer her for it. And she grows more powerful and more sure that she is good and right. She believes her destiny is to build a better world for everyone. Dracarys. I truly believed it. Wouldn't you kill whoever stood between you and paradise? I know you love her. I love her too. Was it right? What I did? What we did? It doesn't feel right. Ask me again in ten years. What unites people? You've had a strange journey. Stranger than most. Stories. How many battles have we survived between us? There's nothing in the world more powerful than a good story. Nothing can stop it. No enemy can defeat it. And who has a better story? I'd like to hear about it. And Bran the Broken. You will be my hand.